hey guys welcome back to my channel and today's video is gonna be about me and of course one and two these my boobs first I want to say if any of you guys are against plastic surgery please do not leave your negative comments below because they will be deleted and you can have your own opinion but please keep it to yourself keep it in your head don't write it below and if you don't like anything about plastic surgery, if you disagree with anything I'm about to say, please exit because your comments will be deleted. And this video, of course, is not for you. So please exit. Thank you. This video is for people who are interested in learning more about plastic surgery, who's learning more about breast augmentations. And for those of you who are interested, please continue to watch. First off, I'm doing this video because a lot of you guys know that I'm getting my boobs done. I'm getting a breast augmentation coming up very soon. I definitely wanted to share with you guys about everything, about what I'm getting, why am I getting it, how am I getting it, where am I getting it, and just all of the details about a breast augmentation that you guys need to know. The reason why I'm doing this video is also because I was the person who was interested in getting a breast augmentation and I had nowhere to go for research. As I was doing my research, I went to YouTube and I started doing some searching on breast augmentations and saline and silicone and just things like that. And a lot of the females on YouTube actually helped me. So hopefully this video that I'm making right now for you guys can help you. Okay, so I have a big list here. On this list, I have a ton of answers that a lot of my followers on Instagram have been asking me because they want to know. A lot of people want to know why, a lot of people want to know how, and the cost and location and everything like that. Hopefully, I can answer every single question that you guys have. And if you guys have any other questions than the one that I'm answering today, just leave them below in my comments. And one of the first questions is, why am I getting a boob job? The reason why I'm getting a boob job, it goes it goes all the way back to almost third grade. Um, I'm almost 30 and i definitely definitely have no issue with investing in yourself now the reason why i'm definitely getting a, a breast augmentation is because i cannot stand my small breasts i'm really really unhappy with the shape and the size that i am right now everything else about me i love i love my height i love my curvy body and everything like that but it's just i'm very insecure about um my chest um i want to get a boob job because i want to be confident within myself i want to be sexy for me and i just want to be able to look in the mirror and be like damn girl like you bad you know me getting a boob job has nothing to do with anyone this is not for me being a fashion designer this is not for my boyfriend this is not for me to look cute in my clothes yes, it is. but it's really not for those those main reasons i want to be happy for me i want to be confident within myself and i want to be able to come home take my clothes off and be like oh girl you better work you feel me the next question is how long have i wanted a boob job now i've wanted a boob job honestly i can really say since i was a freshman in college because you know i'm short i'm 411 i'm 145 pounds but when i was in college i didn't really wear as much makeup i didn't have any tattoos and i never used to wear you know fake nails or anything like that so people used to look at me like i was 12 years old or like 18 or they were unsure on how old i was and i think it's because you know of how little i was and of course breasts also is a big factor when it comes to being a woman you know one of the things that separates you from i guess a man is a vagina and boobs and i only had a nice vagina a nice butt but i had no boobs and i felt like people looked at me like why don't you have any boobs? your mom has amazing boobs you have a great body but you're missing one thing and it's just boobs so the main reason why I'm getting a boob job is to also increase my confidence. Yes, I'm confident. Yes, I'm like girl power to the fullest. But when it comes to 
me and my insecurities, it starts up here. The tank top that I have on now is actually the only thing that I actually wear because it won't make a difference. I can actually go to work tomorrow and people won't know that I actually won't have a bra on because it's not that noticeable. For those of you who would like to know my stats, I am 4'11 in height. I am 145 pounds. I'm very curvy. My bra size, I can't even give you because I don't really wear bras. Like I said before, I only wear tank tops. But I believe if I were to wear a bra, maybe I'll be like a 32A or 34A, maybe. I'm going to show you guys what bras I used to wear and why I don't wear them anymore. Okay. So I have three bras that I brought out for you guys and these are all three bras that I used to wear. The first one is this nude lace bustier top. Um, it has no padding or anything, it's just flat, but it has the underwire here. And to find the size for you guys, I got this bra from Forever 21 and it just says size medium. This is the only bra that really fits me because it's really snug, it's really tight, and there was never any space in between. So that's this bra. The next bra that I'm always wearing is just your regular sports bra. This is the front and this is the back. And of course, it has no padding or anything. These bras are so comfortable. The only issue with my size being so small is that my breast is small, but when it comes to around underneath my chest, this part gets really tight and it always hurts. So that's another reason why I actually don't wear a bra. The size in this bra is a small. It's just a small bra. And this is also from Forever 21. Now this next bra I got from Victoria's Secret when they had their annual sale. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bra. The size on this bra is a 32B. I wore this bra maybe about two times. Only because the cup fits so well. But when it comes to this area here underneath, that fits underneath your chest, it hurts so bad. So... I can't wear the bras anymore. Another reason why I want to get my boobs done is because I really, really, really want to get my breasts to match my body. A lot of people ask me what size I want to get. And it's not really what size I want to get. It's what matches my body frame. Okay, next I'm going to tell you guys what I'm getting. I'm getting saline implants under the muscle between 450 to 550 cc's. I don't know yet. I'm going to choose probably the day of surgery. I'm also getting moderate plus. So what I'm getting is a saline implant. It comes like a small ball and they insert that into um, my chest and they pump it up with salt water. And there's also silicone. Silicone is a big ball that comes pre-filled full of like a gummy bear type of liquid. The reason why I'm getting saline is because... To me, it's safer if anything does happen or if it does rupture, I will actually know instantly and my boob would deflate. The reason why I don't want to get silicone because people who get silicone, it can rupture, it can tear, or it can have a hole in it and you won't know for 10, 20 years. Is because if anything happens to me or my implant, I would like to know right then and there. If the implant ruptures, my boob would deflate, I can just go back to doctor's plastic surgery they can just um take it out fill it with a new one since i have insurance and that's that that's more safer to me also when it comes to silicone silicone is pre-filled which means they're gonna have to open a bigger incision to stuff that silicone in when it comes to saline saline comes in a small ball maybe about this small the incision is only about an inch to a half an inch small which is very very small and that's exactly what I want I'm a small person and I don't want to have a big giant dark scar because that will not look good on someone as pretty as me <laughs> also saline is filled with salt water 
So if the implant does rupture, the salt water will just go through my body and it won't harm me at all in the future when I want to have kids or it won't hurt me at the moment. So that's why I'm also choosing to get saline. Okay, so I'm getting my implant under the muscle, which is under the fold. And to me, that is the safest because... You know, it's right here. They just cut underneath the fold. The implant goes in. And then once I have my implant, there will be a small scar right here. But then once I actually have my implant scar, you won't be able to see because the implant is going to drop down. And then you won't be able to see the scar at all. There are many different incisions when it comes to breast augmentation. You can get your implant through your armpit where they open up, I think, a crease here and they put the implant through. I really didn't like that one because I use a lot of my arms in my day-to-day -day activities, you know, with going to work and just lifting things. So going through the armpit, I wasn't cool with that. Um, the other one is through, is through the areola. So they cut a small incision around your areola. They remove a little bit of the skin and they put the implant through there. I really didn't want that one because I don't want the surgery to mess up to mess up my tear ducts. Your tear ducts are those small bumps around your nipple so that in the future you can breastfeed. So I really didn't want to mess mess up my areolas. I love my areolas. And of course, I didn't want to take any of those chances with me breastfeeding my children in the future because I want to breastfeed and I just love my areolas. Um, the next one is under the muscle, which I'm getting. They just cut a small incision, they open up the muscle, and the implant goes behind the muscle and they close it back and that's that. The last one, which many people have actually died from, is going through your belly button, which is outrageous. Like, why would you even want to go through your belly button anyway? They cut your belly button open a little bit, a small hole, and they can actually put their whole hand through all the way up to this part here and it can move your chest cap but just no 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 no. that is way too much please people if you are getting your breasts done don't even mention going through the belly button your chest so if you're considering getting your breasts done please go through the armpit go through the area go through the areola or the the number one best pick is to go underneath the muscle trust me i've seen videos i've seen blogs and many people have died from the tummy and that's a no-no okay a lot of people are unsure about the profile sizes there are many many profile sizes and i've just learned this myself there's moderate moderate plus high profile and super or ultra high profile now the profile has to do with their projection so moderate is just a regular flat imp implant what i'm getting is moderate plus which means the base of the implant is flat but the shape of the implant comes curved a little bit now high profile comes out which means the high profile will give you that barbie look it will project out more and it will give you a little bit more cleavage now there's also super high or ultra high profile which will give you more cleavage out to the front and it will also give you more side boob. Ultra high profile kind of reminds you of like Big Ange or like Barbie. That's like the size of like H and F and all that stuff, which is way too, too much. Um, I really didn't have a choice when it came to the profile. My doctor, he took my measurements between and here, from here to here, and here to here. I also told him I didn't want anything too outrageous. I wanted to look natural. So he said, boom, you will want moderate plus, and that's exactly what I'm going to get. I'm going to get moderate plus profile. Now the sizes. When I first decided to get my breast augmentation, in my mind, I just wanted... 300 cc's i've been doing a lot of research and i've been trying to find people with my similar stats you know i'm 411 i'm 145 pounds and a friend of mine she got her breast done at the same place where i'm going and i believe she's about 5'5 five five, and she's a size 2 and she got 380 cc's and they actually look pretty pretty damn good on her they look nice they was 
the projection was nice the roundness of her breast was nice i said okay so if hers look good in that size maybe i should get that size when i went in for my consultation he said no they will be way too small for me and the reason why is because i'm a bit curvier and i'm thicker and based on these measurements here my body can physically handle a bigger implant in a bigger shape and a bigger size a lot of you guys have been asking me how much does a breast augmentation cost now the place where i'm going it's a little bit cheaper but that's not the reason why i'm getting it and saline at this location is thirty nine hundred dollars now if you wanted silicone silicone would be a thousand or two thousand dollars or more and I was actually going to go to like Miami or Atlanta where it's a little bit cheaper. But it really made no sense because I can go to Atlanta or Miami and pay $2,500 to $2,000. But then I would still have to pay for hotel. I would still have to pay for air. And not just for me, for my mom. I would still have to pay for my surgical bra. And that's like really too much. So why pay for all of that when I can get it done here in New York City? in the comfort of my own home okay so now i'm actually going to talk about where am i going to get my plastic surgery done i'm getting it done here at doctor's plastic surgery here in new york city in long island city in queens when i actually found this place i actually found it from a couple of people i have a fashion designer friend her name is marcia and she got her breast done another friend of mine she got her breast done there and another guy friend of mine got his um breast done there so I'm like, if she went there, if she went there, and he went there, I'm going to go there too because they're, they are living proof that they had their surgery, everything was fine, everything was great. So their boobs look awesome, and I want awesome boobs too. So why not ask them some questions, and why not go to the same place they went to? My first consultation at Doctors Plastic Surgery was great. It's in like a private building, and you walk in, and it's on the second floor. I actually started walking in. I was really nervous. I don't even know why I was nervous. It was just a consultation. My mom was with me. And um, as we walked in at the sign in, my appointment was for one o'clock. And I sat down. I filled out a couple of papers about my background. In 10 minutes, they called me. I went in the back. They told me to change uh, my clothes, which I didn't know I was going to get undressed that day. Um, so I took my top off. And I put on the robe. My mom was also still there. And at that point, an assistant came in. And she had the different sizers for me to see, for me to try on. And then the doctor came. When the doctor came, he was really nice. Um, he just came from surgery. So that was nice of him. He came from surgery. He came in. He shook my hand. Shook my mom's hand. He was very polite. Very sweet. Um, he answered all of my questions. I had a list of questions. He answered every single question. And um, he stayed for about a half an hour. A little bit less. And then he had to go because he had another surgery. So when he left, the assistant stayed. And she allowed me to try on the different sizes. Now... Like I was telling you guys, I actually wanted 385 cc's. When I tried on the 385 cc's, it was way too small. So she gave me 400 and 450. So I tried on the 400 and I was like, yes, I want 400. But I think because I was super excited, I think the 400 just looked right. Opposed to actually being right for my body type. So... At the consultation, I picked the 400 and my mom took some pictures for me and that was great. So we left the room and I met up with my breast coordinator. Yes, you do get a breast coordinator for your surgery. Her name was Michelle and she was pretty awesome. So she was the one who let me know about the cost of saline, silicone, your options, your options of how to pay for your surgery, the insurance on the shirt on the surgery, how long the surgery, and just the rundown of how doctor's plastic surgery works. During my second consultation, I already had it in the back of my mind that I actually wanted to pay a deposit. Um, the deposit is only a thousand dollars, which will hold your date and it will actually go towards your surgery. So I actually went in this time, I wasn't nervous, I signed my name, I sat down for like five minutes. Uh, Michelle came and got me, which is also my 
breast coordinator we spoke for a bit and she asked me if I wanted to see my doctor again and she asked me if I wanted to try on some different sizes so she took me to the back in the room I got into uh, a robe again I took my clothes off put the robe on and she came in first this time she brought in 450 cc's 475 and 550 cc so this time I tried on 450 uh, which was great but still not as big as I wanted now the next size was 475 which I absolutely love Um, so if I love the 475, now in my head I'm thinking, do I really want to get 500? The reason why I'm going up in the size is because when you go under the muscle, you lose between 50 and 100 cc's. So for the past week, I've been thinking, if I really want 500 and I'm going under the muscle, so I really push to 550 cc's so that when the swelling goes down, it will actually be a full 500 cc okay, so after I tried on the sizers Michelle my breast coordinator took me back to her area and I paid my deposit I paid a thousand dollars in cash and I also paid an additional thousand dollars with debit so I paid two thousand dollars down for my surgery all I owe is nineteen hundred dollars and I have up until two weeks before the surgery to pay which is freaking awesome. For those of you who don't know, my surgery is April 25th and I'm super excited. Today is January 22nd, so I have a very long time between now and my surgery date. The reason why I love space in between is because I wanna get prepared, I wanna be mentally prepared, and I also need to get this money together to pay for the surgery. At the second consultation, my coordinator gave me this folder that says Doctor's Plastic Surgery with the address below, which was pretty cool. When you get a folder, that's how you know it's about to go down. You are about to get some boobs. So inside the folder, it's just some paperwork with my coordinator's name and information and stuff like that on there. And in here, is the real scary stuff so this side it just says surgery date and of course it has the following it says anita rivers it says my surgery date is tuesday april 25th i'm getting saline breast implants under the muscle and my doctor's name i'm not going to give you guys my doctor's name until after my surgery because i definitely want to make sure that he does a great job and after i get my surgery probably the day of surgery then I'll give you guys all that other information. And I love this folder. I'm getting my boobs done. So a lot of you guys have been asking, how do my parents feel about it? Well, my mother, she's okay with it. She wanted me to do the research. My mom said, if you want your breasts done, you do the research, you come up with the money, and I'll support you. Um, My dad, on the other hand, he's like, why do you want to get your breasts done? You know, the rivers, we don't do things like that, you know. We got great bodies and all that stuff. But he's definitely supportive. He said, listen, I'm your dad. I'll support you. But you really don't need it. But, you know, whatever, whatever. My boyfriend, on the other hand, he told me, he says, listen, you know, I love you. And God loves you. Um, Whatever you want to do, I'll support you. Just letting you know, the day of surgery, we're going to pray. And we're going to pray. And we're going to pray. I'll support you in every and anything that you do and I love my boyfriend he said he'll love me regardless of my small breasts or my big breasts because you know he loves my ass so I guess he's just saying that to be nice but I know once I have these boobs he's gonna be all over my boobs when it comes to plastic surgery the one thing I would say is please do your research go on YouTube um Go on Real Self, app called Real Self, and there's women there letting you guys know their experience on where they went, how much they, they're posting videos on um, pre-op, post-op, post-op one, two, three, four, five weeks. And that's actually how I came up with this information, and that's actually how I found my doctor, and how I, find out, how I found out about doctor's plastic surgery. 
someone else asked me on my instagram will i be getting anything else done and the answer is absolutely not like i said i'm very confident within myself my arms are fine my butt is fine i have a i don't have a flat stomach but i'm definitely gonna work on that but i don't want anything else i would never get anything i don't need a tummy tuck i don't need a brazilian butt lift or anything like that but on another note if you feel that you don't like something get it fixed some people um get into a car accident and they nose get broken if you don't like your nose fix your nose if you don't like that you have pointy ears then you know get your ears done if you don't like that you have like a double chin then get that liposuction if you feel that this part here in your arm is too flabby then get that done too whatever makes you happy get it done don't let anyone tell you not to get it or to even get something because if you're not happy with yourself then get it done but if someone else is forcing you to get plastic surgery at the end you're the only one who's going to be unhappy do what makes you happy and do it for yourself the reason why i'm sharing this information with you guys is because you're going to know of course i'm going to go from an a to like a d um, I'm also doing this because a lot of people on YouTube um, have posted their stories about getting their breasts done and they have helped me. So hopefully this video that I'm doing here can help you in the future. Now I'm going to show you my breasts or my boobs. So let me fix myself. Okay. This is my front. See, if I pull this down, see how there's, there's, there's nothing here? There's nothing going on. It's just straight flat chest. If I turn to the side, you can actually see that I have very perky chest. I have a very perky chest. I compare my chest to lemons because they just they just go. Whoop, whoop. I have very perky chest. If I turn to the side, can you see how they look? I have all this body here and just a small little chest and I really can't stand that I'm also going to be sharing a lot of information with you guys I've already shared one video this is my second video I'm going to be doing videos throughout my whole entire journey I'm super excited guys um and again I just want to say thank you guys for watching if you guys have any other comments please leave them below if you guys have any comments about the saline implants about where I'm going for my surgery please leave them below in the comments. don't forget to please please like and love this video um and for you guys who haven't subscribed please subscribe this is going to be a page based on me being a fashion designer and about my life in general this is a a channel about my life and about me classic royalty anita river it's going to be an open book for all of you guys so please um don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and please share this video with all of your friends who are definitely interested in getting their breasts done. So thank you guys for watching and have a good night.